Hello and welcome to my new video series in which I'll be looking back over each of the years I have lived and examining which video games were released, which were my favourites and also a couple of notable mentions which maybe didn't quite make number one in the list but which I have maybe a lot of admiration or respect for. Now, despite the contradiction in having put Kid Icarus as number one for the year 1986 on my list, I didn't have a fantastic time playing it. You see, it was one of the first games I bought at a local video game shop which opened on the same street as me, which was quite a rarity in the year 1989 or 1990. Uh, we bought two games from it the first week it opened, Kid Icarus and Spy v Spy, and uh, funnily enough they were also my two first interactions in terms of consumer rights and the returning of products, because they were also the first time I'd ever played a video game, distinctly not enjoyed myself, and thought that I, I wanted maybe a different experience. It's not that Kid Icarus is a bad game per se, it's a perfectly admirable and accomplished sort of 2D platformer, similar to the Mario games, although a bit more punishing. As you can see, it's a fairly standard Nintendo platformer of the time. You play the titular Kid Icarus as you run about shooting these what appears to be walking snakes and collecting pieces of a heart, as if you're Cupid or something perhaps, I'm not really sure how that ties in. At release, Kid Icarus was criticised for perhaps the difficulty of its gameplay, but reviewers did note that it had good sound design and a good way of mixing up gameplay elements. As you can see, the game starts off initially as a side-scroller, progressing into an upward-scrolling kind of motion and then to eventually full sort of 2D shoot em up levels. The game isn't only difficult because Pit, your character, has a fairly small health bar in relation to the amount of enemies that you'll see, but also because the levels themselves become a hazard in that falling off cliffs can instantly kill you. To this day I still remember that anguished feeling as a child realising that if you fell off the bottom of a screen, which you'd previously been on as it scrolled upwards, you would be given the punishment of instant death, something I wasn't used to at that stage in my gaming career. Now, unfortunately, because I didn't get very far in Kid Icarus, I didn't get to see the famous Eggplant Wizards, which would later become known as one of the characters in the uh, Captain N in the Games Master series of cartoons. That's right, they made a character from an aubergine, as ridiculous as that might sound. But enough about this weird looking thing and back to the game itself. Though it was largely a platformer, as you'll see in the upcoming clip, the later levels turned into more of a sort of side-scrolling shooter in the realm of maybe an R-type. As you'll see from this clip from the later stage of Kid Icarus, once you fully upgrade your character, who now that I think about it is actually a guy called Pit, not Kid Icarus, once you fully upgrade him with his uh, more powerful weapon, his wings and his shield, the game switches from a platformer into a sort of side-scrolling 2D shoot-em-up. Now, as good as this looks, unfortunately the game was so hard I never got anywhere near this stage, so despite the fact it's probably my favourite game of 1986 itself, uh, overall it doesn't really rank that highly in uh, my favourite games throughout the years, but you know, a little shout out to Kid Icarus. Other notable favourites for myself from 1986 would include Bubble Bobble, Castlevania, the original Legend of Zelda, perhaps even Alex Kidd in Miracle World, but given all the releases of the time that I look at, I'd have to say Kid Icarus is the one that left the most lasting impression on myself. Of course it made enough of an impression to have a later sequel, Kid Icarus Uprising on the 3DS. Anyway, thanks for watching my Game of 1986 video and hopefully you can come around next time to watch the following year and years after that. So again, thanks and uh, Kid Icarus.